Good morning guys and girls. It is Saturday the 2nd of November and in Australia that means that we have a long way again pretty much. The Melbourne Cup is a horse race which means you get the Tuesday off and most people will take the Monday off so it's the start of a long way again. I was really hoping to start this weekend by making a video on tuning my 4AG Escort but being close-ish to Melbourne uh, it was I think 35 degrees yesterday and today it is kind of raining down so we're just going to go through a morning routine go get a coffee and go for a ride and hopefully it'll stop raining by the time we get back so I can start doing the timing on this thing ready to go let's get wet Sing in the rain It's supposed to be raining tomorrow. Yep. But yeah, we're just waiting for our food now. Yeah. And I'm so like, we have to kill someone because I haven't had a coffee yet. So um, we decided to come down and it's a really good time to like plan for the weekend. A lot of the time, what do we do on weekends? We kind of just get lost in the moment and sometimes don't get stuff done because we've got so much on. I want to just plan to buy a print, haven't we? And what else? Oh yeah, gonna get a, a printer so I can start doing some better VDR stickers. That'll be very, that'll be pretty sick. And there's also a lot of car work to do, so we'll plan that out now. You guys won't see that, but um, yeah, our food's probably just about to come out. Like one of our things we had to do today was um, come and get some photos developed because my next blog, blog post is going to be printed on 120 film just to be different and um, yeah this place is sick it's got a museum of old cameras so it's awesome we'll have a look Hey. 
Yeah, it, well, it just never stopped raining, so we're just gonna push to it anyway. It's a bit of an issue because there's a massive hole in my shed right there, between there and there, so water kind of gets everywhere, but that's all right. What we're gonna do is just check the, um, the throttle position sensor values with the continuity, continuity at a certain measurement, so you get your feeler gauges and um, put that behind the throttle stop and then we'll check for continuity. I have tried, like I've got heaps of these old throttle position sensors, Some, I think one's off a 20 valve and that, but they're like 30 gears, probably like 30 years old and I can't really be bothered chasing my tail with shit like that, even though you can test them, I still don't really trust it. So what I've gone and done is I've found the product from, from Trident, it's a throttle position sensor throttle position sensor TTH037. I'll put the link in the description. And um, I I actually haven't adjusted it before I before I put it on and it started straight away. So I think that's pretty good. And um, so that's it there. Nice and new, the clips all new. And I've also, there's all these clips are new. They used to just fall off and shit. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll get our feeler gauges, take uh, good idea when you work on this sort of stuff and it's raining is to take a photo of the user manual so you don't get drenched. We'll test it and see how it goes. Oh, well, they're all set and that I think that's um, the easiest thing to do is get it semi tight and then tap it into spot with the terminals in place but that's all done so I think it should run a bit smoother now a bit better now so um, yeah nice and smooth and stuff so probably gonna be a whole new video putting the diff in and cleaning it up for the next time I take it out but um, yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you soon <laughs>